Hello everyone. Yeah, today I'm going to show you all an easy way how to craft a uh, cast and crit belt for relatively cheap, around like 3 to 4x ish, but it does take a bit of RNG. We're going to use uh, dense fossils on Crusader crystal belts. The main mods we're going to try to hit today are flat ES, percent ES, mainly cooldown reduction, and pretty much everything else is welcome, like strength, spell damage during flask effect, armor, resist if you need that. Uh, one thing I want to say is while y'all are trying to craft your belt, you might land on a pretty good belt that say it doesn't have cooldown reduction, but it would be like more valuable for another belt. Uh, you should consider selling it and getting another base and restarting. That's an easy way of uh, making money. I recommend you price check your belts while you're crafting to see uh, if you see some good mods. Uh, use Awakened Peewee Trade if you're unsure, or like go on the website. Alright, to start, we're gonna get a uh, white crystal belt, item level 84. We're going to slam four tempering catalysts on it and then we're going to ulk it and slam it with a crusader orb and then we're going to just slam it with dense fossils and hope to get something good um no you can get a pretty hefty chunk of flat es percent es we're trying to look for uh cooldown recovery resists pretty high strength Spelt's pretty interesting, but like, how much does it go for? Around like 140 ES. I mean, it could sell. I don't know. You know, like, you could hit something pretty good with it. The initial investment of the belt is, uh, like 1C for the base, 70C for the X, uh, Crusader, Exalt, and like the Tempering Catalyst is like 4C. For this video I got uh, around like 100 Resonators and 100 Dense Fossils to see if I can try to hit some good. I, I hit like a pretty juicy like resist belt but I think I'm just gonna roll over it just to see if I can hit something better. But you can pretty much hit like some pretty decent belts and sell them. You can hit mods that have flat ES and these uh, percent ES mods, recovery rate, armor, nothing. I'm probably gonna skip over the video to see if we can hit something good. Oh my god! Wait, what? Bullshit. What is this? 25x, 40x, 40x? Did I hit something big? Forty x has percent ES, flat ES, crit, spell damage, T1 prize. This one, same thing with fake crafted cooldown recovery. So, yeah, something like this would sell with like resists. You can craft on like a suffix. It's not around 25. X, but like it would sell for. I don't know, to be honest. I'm just gonna keep rolling over it until I hit like cooldown recovery. Oh, damn! <laughs> Last two. And we managed to hit it. This is a pretty juiced belt. 
Side has low armor, doesn't have any strength or resist, but it does have an open suffix. So we're gonna price check this real quick. 140, yes. Sure, sure. Okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Pretty decent. We just need to hit 14% cooldown recovery rate. So even the tier, tier 2 mod is pretty much just as good. Well, let's check these out. Hi, oh, yes, this one has aspect of the spider. This one has strength and dex crafted on. But I mean, yeah, like, uh, hope y'all get the point, you know? Like, we didn't have to spend, you no know, 25 exalts to hit something with, like, fat ES and percent ES. Sadly, this one's a tier 2 percent ES, but then hit tier 1. Um, and it was tier 3 flat. But yeah, uh, overall investment was uh, 90 chaos-ish for the resonators, around 100 chaos for the fossils, I bought them one to one. In bulk, you might have to spend more or less, maybe, I don't know. Uh, the base of the belt was like 1C, 70C for the Crusader, 4C for the uh, Tempering Catalyst, and yeah. We have a pretty juiced, like, uh, pretty decent cast on crit belt. Like, it's not, I wouldn't say it's like end game or something, but like, eh, <laughs> like, why not? You know, you could use it. Alright, hope y'all learned some and, uh, peace.